Hello there guys, today we have a shorter little puzzle, two mover, white to go as usual and win this in two moves. And the black pawn is going down in the diagram. Alright, so uh, you can pause the video now and see if you can find out uh, the solution on your own, how white wins this in two moves. Go ahead. And welcome back. Okay, so let's look at some options. Well. We can take this one, but of course, if the pawn takes back, then we have a checkmate here in two moves. Yes, but black will take this with his king, and there is no checkmate here. The black king can escape to g6, and is out in the open. So, no, let's start over again. Uh, what about this check here? Uh, same if the king moves, well, then we have a checkmate here with our queen. But the pawn will come to g5, giving us a check also. And uh, when we take it, it's not checkmate. It will be the checkmate next move, but that is three moves and not two. Okay, so let's see some uh, queen checks here. Well, the king will just escape to h4, and we have nothing more to do. Note here that this pawn is protecting the rook, so we cannot do a checkmate like that. And a check here. Now the pawn cannot come up. That will be checkmate in two. But the king will again escape to h4, and there's no checkmate here. So, we are not starting with a check, of course. This is a puzzle, and the two-mover puzzle should never start with a check. So I'm just showing this. We have to find something else. But if we're not starting with a check, note this. Black is, as we've seen, threatening g5 check, threatening rook f6 check. And it's very hard to do a checkmate when we are at check ourselves. It's not impossible, but it's very hard. But we have one move that stops both these uh, checks and also leading to the solution, actually. And this is a brilliant move. The rook goes to g6. We're blocking the pawn, we're blocking the rook, and we're actually putting black in uh, some trouble here because we are we are threatening checkmate here on g4 with our queen now. And if the rook takes this, well, then he blocks the g6 square for his king, so we can then checkmate here on h3 like this. And if it takes this with the king, well, then we have this beautiful checkmate, of course, on f5. Everything is covered here, and it's a win for us. And the last move that he can do is to move his king, but that doesn't get out of the threat. It's still checkmate here with queen g4, like this. So the solution is the beautiful rook sacrifice to play to g6. And then we win in the next move. So I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you managed to find the solution on your own. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye bye.